Hey guys, how is everybody doing? Well, I wanted to um, give you a little bit of update. So <clears throat> I'm in uh, Mississippi right now and there was a few different um, places that I wanted to visit, little side road attractions and stuff, you know, like a fruit stand and a little store and stuff, but they're very busy. Um, it's afternoon, it's beautiful weather out here. And um, my first little collection on my trip um, I'm at a, a convenience store it's pretty new um, but they had a penny machine I collect pennies I have one from Alabama Zoo uh, Gulf Coast Zoo I have a couple of them from like uh, I think I think I got one from Bucky's uh, if you guys know what a Bucky's is um, but anyways so I just wanted to show you that this is my first um, little um, piece of memorabilia sorry piece of memorabilia from my trip so um, everything is going good um, van is fine everything's fine so far so I hope you guys are enjoying your Thursday I will uh, come back on here again with a little more of uh, what's going on and where I'm at and I will probably do a little slideshow so just stay tuned and um, enjoy. the beautiful sunshine so beautiful out here hey everybody I'm at my first stop I am a tad bit tired I took a little power nap but <clears throat> I'm doing good uh, the van's doing good her name I named my van her name is Ashley because she's the silver color and of course as you know after a fire is done it turns into ash so she's an ash color so Anyway, so I'm wearing my best shirt today, one of my best shirts, Girls Run the World. <laughs> yeah, I already took a picture of it too, so. But, uh, hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for joining me, I appreciate it. I'm um, at a rest area, and like I said, I took a little nap. It's going good, beautiful weather. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's like totally blue sky not a cloud in the sky it's beautiful and I love their area here because behind me it's just beautiful nice and peaceful the other cars and all the other trucks are on the other side I found myself in a really nice spot. I'll show you. See this parking spot? It's all mine. There is no more. It's a single spot in the shade. And I can show you where everybody else is. Everybody else is over there all the trucks and everything are over here somewhere right in here you can see all the trucks and all the cars anyways so yep I wanted to um, also show you that what I have on the back of my van I decided to put it on there my YouTube sticker it's a magnet and it's working out pretty well so if you are just first, this is your first time joining me, I am on a 2,000 mile journey. I am uh, making little videos here and there, and I have taken some pictures. I will be uploading them. Uh, I will probably be putting them at the end of my videos. Uh, some are going to be on YouTube, some are going to be on Facebook. It all depends on the Wi-Fi and the reception that I have. But for right now, this is my spot. I'm 
thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, my cooler, my ice, my food bag, my bathroom bag, my clothes. Um, I have all my, basically all my winter clothes and my camping stuff up in the Thule. So it's really light, not really heavy. But I did want to um, also do a shout out um, again as I did before, but I'm going to do it again if you guys didn't see the last one. But uh, I wanted to do a shout out to a few uh, very special people that helped me with my journey and got me on my way. So in Alabama, my friends Tina and Kevin, they're a married couple. I've known them since 2011. Uh, I helped them actually pack from Florida to move to Alabama. That yeah, was fun. <laughs> um, they helped me along the way. Uh, they welcomed me into their home. And as I actually got the Amazon job, um, you know, they uh, allowed me and welcomed me into their home to, um, to stay there so that I could re start rebuilding uh, my life from the cancer and taking care of my mom take care of everybody else so it was a uh, time to start taking care of me so I really do appreciate it thank you so much for all you, you did and it was really fun <laughs> um, at times uh, I can tell you guys a bunch of stories but anyways the um, the other people that I want to shout out is um, to my friend Pam um, after Tina and Kevin moved out of their apartment, I was still employed at Amazon and uh, the heat was extremely bad in Alabama. It was like 102 and 107 with the heat index. So she put it out there and welcomed me. Hey, you know, if you need a place to stay, you know, I know you're still working. Um, you'd actually be helping me out too, but we actually helped each other out while I was there. I was there for about a month, a little over a month month and a half I think I'm not too concrete on that but maybe uh, August September probably two months but it was fun um, we learned a lot from each other we uh, grew to be uh, stronger and better friends um, I consider her a sister just like I do Tina and um, I also want to shout out to um, Kevin's parents um, for, for the actual emotional support and um, you know allowing me to do things and inviting me over there um, to certain functions I really do appreciate that it was a lot of fun um, I'm really glad I got to spend time with you guys I haven't seen it for years but boy it was like just like yesterday when I walked in oh, the is so good out here it feels so good out here so um, and my brother um, definitely you know keeping me in line uh, helping me out uh, financially with my medical stuff because I'm self-pay because Amazon is only part-time so I could not um, afford all my um, diabetic stuff so I really do um, I am really really grateful for his help um, to keep me alive basically right <laughs> um, the other people that I want to shout out to is my daughters uh, my daughters, Katie and Casey, uh, they help me by calling me almost every day, um, practically almost every day, like I said. It's great to hear from them. It keeps my, my motivation. It helps my mental health. And I love talking to them. I love seeing their progress and, you know, joking around and cutting up. And I actually got to go see them when Hurricane Ida came through Louisiana. Um, I left Alabama and went to Florida and I was just originally just going to go to Tallahassee and Pensacola and just stick it out for a few days. But I got the invite from my youngest daughter so I went there, stayed with her for a few days and then I went across the state um, to the east coast and stayed with my other daughter for a few days. So I thank you guys very much for putting up with me and spending time with me and making time for me. Um, it was definitely, I was definitely um, blessed have time with you I really really appreciate it so and I know you guys do too <laughs> so um, yes I'm I'm 
how am I supposed to put this? Um, I left Amazon properly, as one of my nomad friends said, to um, make sure that you leave properly so that you can be a rehire. So I did that, so I put my resignation in, and HR called me, and um, it was done properly, so I am a rehire. Uh, I can come back anytime. I'd have to start the training again, but that's fine, because everything changes anyways. So I'm, I'm fine, I agree with that. So now, like, like I was telling you guys earlier, I am on my way to Yellowstone National Park. And I also got a call from um, the Grand Canyon. And I can't really tell you much about that yet because that was just a phone interview. So she's going to get back to me in two weeks and let me know if and when. And if that's happening, that'll be my next journey. So if you guys stay, stay tuned. Please stick with me. Keep in touch. Comment below. Any tips or questions or comments are always welcome. And again, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching it all the way through. <sighs> time to go eat some dinner. So I'll talk to y'all later. Ciao for now.